And I want to tell you this story. You've probably heard it in one of my lectures on YouTube. I'm not sure. But it's so relevant right now that I want to mention it. I have a friend, a colleague teacher who teaches with me at the school. This particular brother, very religious, very down to earth, very simple, mashallah. Every time I sit with him, my worries go away. And you should always have a companion who is positive. We were talking about that before. Optimistic, positive, because you become a positive person. Surround yourself with these types of people. So we're going to pick up his son from the kindergarten. As he was parking his car, the wheel hit the curb. Has anyone heard this story? No. Good. I feel good about myself now. It hit the curb. You know what he says? What would you say if you hit the curb? Huh? Alhamdulillah. What else? What do most people say? Honestly. Huh? Maybe a four letter word starting with S or an F? Maybe something like that. This brother, he said, Astaghfirullah. <laughs> so I started laughing. I go, Astaghfirullah. It's just a man made law that you shouldn't hit the curb when you're driving. You say, Astaghfirullah. It's not Allah's law to say, Astaghfirullah. He looks at me and says, What? I said, You said, Astaghfirullah for hitting the curb. He said, Did I? I said, Yes. What's wrong with you? He said, Oh, no, 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 no. Because I'm not saying Astaghfirullah because I hit the curb. I know it's not a sin. I'm not violating Allah's laws. <laughs> I said, then why did you say Astaghfirullah? Wallah, he said this word that I still remember it till today. He said, no, because when I was younger, I had this accident, I bumped into something, and I said a swear word. And I said to myself, Subhanallah, I shouldn't be like that. I need to get myself used to whenever I'm startled or in shock, I say words of dhikr. I program my brain to do that. Just like a person programs their, their brain to say swear words, you know, how they, you know how it's programmed, right? Do you know how? How? Tell me. How, how do you get used to it? Why? Why? Because you, you hear someone else do it. All right? We hear our parents, and maybe not our parents, inshallah, no one here. We see it on TV. So as children, we behave as we see. We copy. That's how a child starts to swear. It's not born to swear. You can reprogram yourself so that your brain says words of dhikr instead of the swear word. So he says, every time I got shocked or startled, I say a word of dhikr. And this time he came out, Astaghfirullah. I said, why? He said, because. Imagine I was shocked one day. I'm about to have an accident, Allah, and I'm shocked. And I've programmed my mouth to say words of dhikr. And then I die after that accident. My last words will be words of dhikr. Isn't that amazing? That's the nurturing of the soul, ya akhi. Rasulullah said, Yubath al maru ala ma mata A person will be gathered on the day of judgment on what they died upon. سبيل مريح كان هدايا صاحي كي تستريح وهو